Hi everyone, so today I'm going to, to show you how to create a stylized grass using a procedural method. So you can delete the cube, add a plane, go to edit mode and subdivide it 10 times. You can also scale it and let's add a particle system here. Okay, so it will be here with the number of 8000 the hair length you can change to 0.90 the source will be random and in the render tab you can lower the steps to 1 and go to shading the tab and I've, I already have this material here, but just the color ramp that was important to me to keep and I'm gonna show you why. So let's press 5.1, okay, orthographic. And let's start adding the materials, okay. Texture coordinate with two mapping nodes. Plug that generator into the vectors and let's add two textures one is wave texture and the other is the noise and a mix rgb let's plug this one and to this one and the values for the noise will be three 5.9 here and the distortion will be 1.3 and plug into color here and the color let's plug here and here okay you can change the values of the color ramp I just really like this those ones so I decided to, to keep it and let's also tweak the values for the wave change it to rings 1.2 of scale and the rest you can leave like that we're not going to combine them yet so I'll come back here after a few moments so go to the scene tab here and change the hair type to strip and I usually like to put it into transparent let's go back to the render tab and here we were in the render now let's go to the children which will be interpolated and we have the those values of the render amount lower to 10 here in the clumping you can put it in 1 and minus 150 like that the kink will be spiral it's here yes. so you can use those values and the hair shape will be a bit different we're going to put it to 4, the size of the root and the other ones are ok and here in the force field settings use self effect ok so now I wanna give it a bit of wind and wind effect in the shader and using force fields let's just look the the wave texture here to show you how to do this so the effect we can decrease to 0.100 but I want to change the direction of the wave so let me just check it here so it's this direction, I want this direction 
So let me reduce the rotation and change it here. Okay, so I rotated minus 45 degrees and the location it's 10, the Z axis. So yeah. And now I want to to change the the frame offset here to frame. Oh, let me zone in. Frame minus point one. So yeah you can see that it's flowing in this direction right so for the shader you can customize it the way you want those values just use them and it worked it for me so yeah you're in the render tab but i want to add one more thing the force field okay so let's add a force field and turbulence and press 1 G X G Z let's scale down and here I want to change the end frame to 100 let's go to frame number one add press i and location rotation scale let's press 7 to the upper view press g x now let's go to the other side and keyframe it whoops go first to the keyframe 100 and then move it in the X axis and I location and now we have a fairly uh, simple but I really like this method for a stylized grass you can change the terrain make it higher lower depending in certain areas and it's the material is fully procedural so you can do wherever your creativity desires so i hope you like it bye bye guys see you next time